Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. Located 40 kilometres northwest of Mullaney and 11 kilometres west of Kenilworth in the Imbel State Forest is Charlie Morlan Camping Area. It is $6.85 per person per night. You need to book online at Queensland National Parks before you get there. A camping tag with your booking number must be displayed at the campsite at all times. Check into your camp after 1 p.m. and check out by 11 a.m. on the day of your departure. The road in is seven kilometres and five of that is dirt. And when we went, it was a little corrugated with some large potholes. But if you took your time, most caravans would make it in. Charlie Morland Campgrounds is set in the forest and is fairly grassy and is nestled beside Little Yabba Creek, which would be awesome for swimming in summer. There is a large day use area right beside the creek with heaps of parking and a toilet block. The campgrounds has no defined sites, but there are barbecues and fire rings dotted throughout the area. The camping area is suitable for tents, caravans, camp trailers, camp vans and small motorhomes. It's a large area, so it would be possibly suitable for really large groups. Open fires are only allowed in the barbecues and the fire rings and only when there's no fire ban. There is no potable water available, but if you boil it, you can use it for drinking. Oh, and bring your own firewood. No generators are allowed and there was no rubbish bins. There were a few toilet blocks scattered throughout the grounds and they were wheelchair friendly. There is no phone and no internet coverage. So you'll need to bring all your drinking water, rubbish bags, insect repellent, firewood, as there's nothing available except in Kenilworth. This place gets really busy over the school holidays, so make sure you book early. One pretty special thing is you can bring your horse. Domestic animals, including horses, are not permitted in the camping area. Horses are only permitted on the horse trail network. But there is a large enclosed paddock provided right beside the campgrounds with shaded lean-tos. 
We found getting there in our caravan that coming in from Umundi Kenilworth Road was the best. And then Sandy Creek Road is about 11 kilometres from Kenilworth. There is also a 56 kilometre or four day walking trail leaving from the Inville State Forest. Then we did a day trip into Kenilworth. What an awesome little country town that is. <laughs> Our first stop was the markets and they are held on a Saturday from 8.30 to 1 p.m. Then it was off to the Big Boss Chocolate Shop. Got ourselves a chocolate or two. They did have a really great range, as well as vegan chocolate, and I think they had dairy free. The next stop was Kenilworth Dairies. They made lots of local produce. Cheeses, milk, dips, ice cream, sauces and dressings, herbs and spices, meat and small goods and yogurts. There's also an on-site cafe. And we left the best to last. The next was the pie shop and donut shop. Oh my goodness, they have the best pies I've ever had. And the donuts were to die for. The line up down the footpath proved it. There is also a large sitting area up the lane with murals of great singers and actors. Then we had a quick look at some of the quirky shops in town before we grabbed some groceries and fuel and headed off to a few of the four wheel drive tracks. By mid-afternoon, it was bucketing down, so we headed for the van. So that's us for this week. We're heading back to our local hometown. Wait till I show you that little bit of paradise. 
don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, stay in contact and we'll see you next week.